Are you feeling like a zombie lately? Tired of the same old energy drinks promising the world but delivering the jitters at a crash? Look no further than Sneak Energy, your secret weapon for all your energy needs. With all natural ingredients, Sneak will give you all the energy you need to boost through your day without feeling like a lab rat on caffeine. Don't believe us? Try it yourself and see what a difference it can make to your routine. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description and pick up your Sneak Starter Pack today. Now enjoy the clip. Marcus Brown, thank you very much for this. He says, what's your take on Barcelona confirmed paying referees? Right, look, Barcelona are in trouble. Dr Pepper is nice, but it's not got cherry. Dr Pepper cherry is nice. I had some on the NFL uh, Super Bowl. Um, look, we've had so much to talk about today in the UK. Bournemouth have beaten Liverpool. Gary Lineker, match of the day, you know, issues. Um, three o'clock games have been brilliant. Um, there's so much going on. But look, I feel I should mention this for a minute. Barcelona, what's the fallout of this? What is the fallout of Barcelona being charged with... We heard rumours about it a couple of weeks ago that there was potential issues and charges coming around the corner for Barcelona in relation to potential payments that have been made to referees. But now they've been charged with it. I mean, it doesn't, find, doesn't mean they're going to get found guilty, but it's very, very similar to the charges that Manchester United have faced around FPL. Um, everybody's always felt that they were doing something wrong. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Barcelona and referees for a very long time. Tongue in cheek, maybe. But now, facing charges, what does that mean for Barcelona? And, it, and, and, and if they've got evidence, surely that's relegation. I mean, I don't, I don't know enough about it. But what I will say is, even when Man United played Barcelona at the Nou Camp, and Rashford's the last man and he gets barged over, and it's like, no foul, it should have been a red card. And you go, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And, and, and I, I do think with Barcelona, they've always had this stigma that they do get away with ridiculous decisions. And, you know, it could well be because there has been some dodgy things going on, which is appalling. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. If, if there's any truth in this, then Barcelona must be kicked out of La Liga. Um, and I feel terrible for Barcelona fans and players. But if that was my club, Manchester United, and we've been paying referees... I'd be disgusted. I'd be praying we don't get kicked out of the Premier League, but I'd be fuming, absolutely fuming with the people who've done it. And that's the thing. You know, this reflects badly on Barcelona and it'll be the fans that suffer as it always is. But who's making those bloody payments? It's disgraceful. If there's any truth in that, it's a disgrace. And, you know, the great thing about Man United over the last 10 years is that we can't be accused of paying the refs. Um, and still Xavi gets in the ears, says Kenneth. Um... Yeah, I mean, look, um, it's a worry for, for football, really, that a club like that big is being linked with cheating. Um, it really does worry me that those sort of things are going on. Um, I mean, the scariest thing is, if Barcelona have done it, do you think they're the only club in the world that's done it? I mean, you just don't want to hear stuff about that, whether it's Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man City, I don't care. You don't want to be hearing about clubs potentially paying for referees. War a seven up trophy for Liverpool, says David Sherwin. Is this the way to Amarillo? I'm stretching my leg because I've got back pain. Jack says Potter's still got to go. I mean, that's just stubbornness, that is. If you can't see the progress across this Chelsea side over the last few weeks, um, it's, it's onside, it's onside, it's 3 1. If you can't see the progress with this Chelsea side over the last few weeks, you're a fool. Um, I think it's a. I think it's a. I think the thing with Potter is some Chelsea fans just don't respect the fact that they brought a Brighton manager in. They want something. We want a Real Madrid manager. You know, we want something like that. And I think at the end of the day, this is a project for Chelsea. Um, and there will be bumps in the road, but you've got to believe in the project. And I think the players are starting to believe in the project. And I think that's the thing. I, I looked at Chelsea two or three weeks ago. And I worried whether the players were actually in it because it's whether the players are in it or not. Um, if the players aren't up for it, they will remove the manager. But I think ultimately they are up for it uh, and they are giving it a go. And uh, that bodes well for Chelsea moving forward. Um, I, think you, I think you judge Potter and Chelsea next season. Full pre-season. 
you know, proper striker. Uh, and I think that's what that's going to make a massive difference. And they've got some really good players. I still think if they can get Kante back, it will be a big help as well. I mean, maybe Kante won't be the player he was before, but you know, if they, if he is, what a boost that would be. Uh, Ewan says, I don't understand why Havertz plays out of position because they just haven't got a striker. That's the problem. They haven't got a striker. Uh, who would you like to have a Premier League player coffee question, says Chase. So if I could have a coffee with any Premier League player, who would it be? Um, well, you can answer in the chat as well. We're a community. Who would I, If I could have a coffee with any player in the Premier League, who would it be and why? Um, I mean, it would have been Ronaldo. That'd be a better. I'd have won an award for that because Piers Morgan's interview was crap. I mean, it's basically two hours of wiping Ronaldo's ass, and he won an award for it with his tom. Um, but Ronaldo doesn't play now, so I mean, I could go Man United, but um, uh, I, you know what? If there was a really charismatic player in the Premier League who was an absolute goat, I would pick them over a United player. But. You know, you want somebody you can have a really good chat and also find out stuff from. Um, Arsenal are a bit of an up-and-coming team. Man City bore the life out of me. I'd never do it with Liverpool. Chelsea are not really there. It's got to be a Man United player, hasn't it? And therefore, I think it's got to be... Uh, probably, probably, probably Casemiro. I mean, there'd be a language barrier, wouldn't there? Um, seven up one week, seven miles up the next, says Connor. Hashtag Salah penalty. Um, re remember, um, no, it's current players. Don't start chucking out X players. If it's X players, I'll, I'll, I'll pick five. Um, Sylvester says Gary Neville. Well, he, he, he'd chuck his coffee at me, him in the face. He hates me. He absolutely hates me. He, he wouldn't have a coffee with me. Um, but um, if it was an ex-player, it would probably be someone like Beckham or Keane. I wouldn't mind a coffee with Bruno. Um, the trouble with it, a lot, of, a lot of footballers these days, they're so ingrained in what to say, they, they probably wouldn't open up.